Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to call the create a store procedure in Python. Now before actually calling that, because uh, I actually thought of it right now that I need to show you that how you can call that store procedure uh, using SQL Alchemy Core and SQL Alchemy ORM, so both of those. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two more lectures for those and uh, they are going to come right after this one right after this lecture so you don't need to like really worry about okay how can i call a store procedure using sql alchemy or or sql alchemy core i'm going to provide you with both of those i just thought of them and i'm going to add them of course you're going to see them added so um first uh if i were to select our sales uh, for this one, we just have quantity two, but we are going to experiment with Python, then ORM, then core. So I feel like I need to increase this quantity. So I'm going to increase it to 10 and I'm going to show you like a trick that you can increase it using that store procedure. I'm not going to do anything extra. So this is our store procedure. Now, instead of adding a positive number, I'm going to re remove that and I'm going to add negative eight. And when I hit enter, it says call. And now if I run it again, you can see that the quantity is 10 and the order total is 190. Uh, because we had 2, 2, minus, minus 8, it's like minus times minus plus 2 plus 8, it is going to be 10. I could add 5 more if I wanted to, like let's say minus uh, or uh, minus, let's add 10 more. I mean what are we what have we got to lose so we got quantity is now 20 and i'm showing it to you before like i don't want to do it like behind like uh, off screen or something i, I want to show it to you how this is actually done that's why you're seeing it right here so now when we say minus one it is going to, it's not going to be one originally but now it is going to be 19 because we updated it to nine to 20 because we are trying to reduce it many times over, we are, gonna, we are gonna end up with a negative quantity, which doesn't really make sense. So in the Python, I'm gonna import uh, scicop g2, and then I'm gonna say if uh, name, we know this part, is equal to underscore, underscore, main, underscore, underscore, uh, what do we wanna do? Uh, let's grab our connection. So I'm going to create a connection object and I'm going to say scicob g2 dot connect basically this the, the same things that we've been doing so many times now. I'm just going to copy that part and put it right here. So we have the user is m underscore halali everything the rest of these uh, information they're they're um, accurate. So I'm just going to make sure the indentation is correct now how can we uh, automate automate this commit so there is this is another trick so if you just grab your connection object uh, there is actually a property on it that is auto commit and just go ahead and set it to true and then we are going to say cursor uh, is going to be equal to connection dot cursor let's just open that there and what do we want to execute here so we want to execute that store procedure which we created in our previous lecture so we python doesn't have anything to do with creating it but it has everything to do with calling it so let's go ahead and let's call it and we know it it has to be called on our cursor that's why we created it everything is called on the, everything is executed using the cursor object so i'm going to say uh, call the exact same syntax return not returned return non discounted item and i'm going to pass in two placeholders where is the other one and let's close this and um, so we need to pass in two items or two items into this tuple that we have. So we know that the first one is going to be the order number. So it is uh, 10, 50, uh, 1, 10, 59, 10. And how many times, do, how many items do we want to um, subtract from it? So let's just say one. Uh, let's now connection.close. Just save this file. 
So what I'm going to do before actually running back to the um, SQL shell, I'm going to run this file. So I'm going to say rename, copy that, close that. I'm going to say uh, python.py. Oh, there is there has to be like two equal signs. And there we go, it ran. So now if I call this, it was 20, right? Let's call that again, and there we go. It is 19. So 19 times 19, we got 361. So we were able to call the store procedure from our Python file. In the next lecture, I'm going to show you how you can call this from uh, SQL Alchemy, using SQL Alchemy Core. See you then.